right, a new month and a new psychological start for the markets. Good morning to you, Mike Eppel. Yeah, good morning, Melanie. A better uh, time at least the past couple of days on the uh, stock markets and maybe a little bit more buying today because we are watching a uh, fairly positive momentum swing here. And, you know, the TSX on Bay Street is coming off its worst monthly performance in seven years. It was down 6.5% for October, and that was even with a couple of uh, big bounces in just the past couple of trading sessions. Again, this morning we're looking at uh, some positive momentum coming into the new month of November, so we'll see if that uh, holds. Having said that, we've got some pretty big economic signals out over the next uh, couple of days, including tomorrow's reports on jobs for both Canada and the U.S. The labor market statistics always ones to watch when we're talking about interest rate policy. And of course, what's been going on this year, well, interest rates have been going up, and that's part of the reason why the market has uh, been somewhat volatile of late. After the close of trade today, Apple reports its earnings. Will it remain as the only $1 trillion company in the world? We've seen its market value, of course, climb to that record-breaking level recently. It comes back to earnings. How much Apple makes? We'll get an indication about the early sales results for the newest iPhones, uh, how they've been doing with services. This is where Apple's been trying to diversify, whether it's into uh, music services or video streaming or what have you, cloud computing, you name it. That's a big moneymaker for it as well. Uh, Apple shares, not quite at record highs, but uh, still pretty good. And uh, they've uh, had a very strong year for investors. Just because the Canadian price for oil is low does not mean our Canadian energy producers aren't making a lot of money. In fact, quite the opposite because they're buying and producing oil at very low levels, but refining it at very high levels, the profit margins are very strong. Case in point, Suncor, which operates Petro Canada, some record numbers for the third quarter, one and a half billion dollars in operating profits. Uh, revenue was at records as well, and they're refining margins also at all-time record highs. And as we are into the month of November, we're going to start hearing about upcoming Black Friday holiday sales going to see all sorts of indications of that. Another U.S. brand coming into the Canadian market, L.L. Bean out of Maine, teaming up to uh, do some uh, pop-up stores in the likes of HBC, Sport Check, Mountain Equipment Co-op, and that uh, company is planning to open some bricks and mortar stores in the Toronto area early in 2019. So from here, we'll send back the studio.